Now, very good. You want to encourage people, very nice. Um, and you want to find the right words. Mm -hmm. Now, it's exactly. not easy. It takes time to learn. And we need to think before we talk. And it's something to learn. Let me give you uh, a short teaching about speaking. This is very helpful. And I thank God that when we're close to the Lord, the Lord will download teachings. He has downloaded me many teachings to me. First, we can use the word of grace. Now, this is the same for God. God is the word of grace and the word of the law. Word of grace from God will be like, God loves us, God cares about us, God wants to bless us. And for us, words of grace will be like this. You are precious, you are important. You can do great things for God. God has a wonderful plan in your life. Now all this you can find in the Bible. And then the law, the law means you know, what we do. Now the Bible has many laws too, tell us what to do. Having a law doesn't mean it has to be harsh. The law can be gentle. Let me tell you a few ways the law is spoken. First, explore. How can we solve this problem? How can we serve <laughs> God better? How can we have more harmony in the family? That's exploring. <coughs> Guiding. When one person knows the answer and trying to guide the other one. Like I guided them to understand the needs and what God has done to guide them. And then request. Can you do this for me? Can you help me? Request. <coughs> and then command. Do this for me. Accuse and then condemnation. Now sometimes we still need to do those. Like for instance, if you don't repent, it can bring the punishment of God. Sometimes we have to do that. But let me tell you, all this you can say in a gentle way or a harsh way. For instance, request. You can say, oh please clear the garbage for me. It's very helpful to me and I thank you very much. Or you can say, can you go and do it? Hurry and do it. Why are you so late? Why are you so slow? So telling your family members to do something, people could talk it, say it in a very negative way. So this, remember this, say it again. Explore. 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 Guide. 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 Now teaching, I forgot to say. Teaching. 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 And then request. 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 Command. 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 Accuse. Accuse. Condemn. condemn. Now, seldom do we use condemn unless if someone is really not repentant. So sometimes we want to guide someone how to solve the problem. We have to guide them. But instead of just teaching, we can lead them to think about, oh, now I realize that you have some problem with your family. Tell me what happened and what was going through in your mind. And when you have anger, what did you do? And how did he feel? So explore what happened, and then ask him how you can do better, how you can change. And then if you change, what would it do to people? So this is counseling skill. Now, of course you can say words of grace, like, I can see your effort, you're trying, you're doing well, you're improving, you have done this in the past, you can do better in the future. So. These are words of grace. You use words of grace and words of the law. Now this also take time, but, uh, but you can watch my video. I can put this online. I, uh, I, I will put some of this online about words, you know, uh, the words we can speak 